It's summertime and you guys know what that means. It's time to bust out a fresh new pair of sneakers or your all white pair that is probably green because you mow the lawn in them all the time and just beat them to the ground all summer long. Today is gonna be a haul for the like the history books on this channel. I have a ton of heat sneakers to show you guys from Air Jordan to Adidas. Some of these are bought, some of these were gifted and the pairs that were gifted are going to blow your mind. I was so hyped when I received these in the mail, especially after taking a huge, massive Massive, gigantic, thick L. First off, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel, welcome, think about it, check out another video. This is part one of a massive sneaker haul. Part two will be on my other channel, Sneaker Talk 365, and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the pinned comment. Feel free to continue watching the haul over on the other channel right after or binge watch some of my Asia vlogs. Bape sneaker giveaway as well on the channel all month long. I'll leave the instructions linked down below for the, uh, the Bape stuff giveaway. But with that said, let's get to the sneakers. So the very first pair are some shoes I actually doubled up on just because I know they'll be able to retain their value and when I did order them online they released in Asia at the same time and they were reselling at all these different stores so I'm like okay these Jordan 1 lows they're gonna you know maintain their value so this right here is the first sneaker pickup a pair of Air Jordan 1 lows you guys know they just released a like a bunch a bunch of colorways and this right here is by far my favorite the Black Toe Air Jordan 1 low an absolute must-have if you're an Air Jordan 1 fan in my opinion and uh, if you love black toes but you're not trying to you know get finessed by paying those high resale prices these are not going for that much over retail and you still might be able to pick these up for retail depending on you know your local store or what sizes are available I picked up two pairs actually I got two size 10.5s and I also bought the yellow ones also in size 10.5s which I did a review on on this channel and I uh, also bought these in Japan which by the way I did a huge Asia sneaker haul so check that video out on the channel. I'll leave a link down below. I spent so much money in Asia, it's ridiculous. But yeah, this is a green colorway. I really like this, but in my opinion, just being a fan of the black toes and, and red more than green, this one here has got to be my favorite from that whole collection that they did. Now the next shoe is another Air Jordan 1, but this time it's not a low top, it's a high top. And these sneakers are surprisingly readily available at a ton of different stores right now. And this is such a clean colorway. It's probably the, uh, the Ugly Duckling or the underrated sneaker out of the pack that they did. But you guys know about the LA to Chicago ones that they did. Well, this I think is the, the Paris to something. Um, I forget the exact name, but here is a look at these. They did that cool thing where, you know, the if you acetone your shoe or if you wear it a bunch, the paint will slowly strip off over time and it'll reveal like another colorway of the shoes. And then these right here actually come with three sets of laces. So a gray or four sets of laces, gray, a pink, a uh, bold, bold, pink and then they have the black ones on them and I think this colorway is gonna be really good for summer you can wear these with pretty much anything and as you guys know Jordan ones they just get better with age like and the fact that these will you know show more character and color like different color over time is gonna make it a very fun shoe to wear over the summer so you can like take a before and after photo and see how much damage you've done to the shoe by the end of the summer but really clean sneaker and I've actually seen some people do some really cool customs with these doing some like homage to home inspired paint stripping along with like a union paint stripping Shipping. So these are a size 10.5. Wasn't able to find a size 10, but you can always go half a size up in Jordan ones if fine. It's not that bad. This next pickup caught me off guard. I did not know these shoes released at all until Adidas sent them over to me with some Yeezys. So this was the shoe that I was like, whoa, okay, that's different. So blue Adidas Originals box. Pop this lid open, and here we have it. These are the Super Court RX. The Adidas Super Court. RX. Now this sort of looks like a men's Adidas Falcon in my opinion. Sort of also gives me these like Raph Simmons kind of aesthetic vibe going on here too. It's not quite like a chunky dad shoe, but it looks like an evolved form of the Continental 80. Just a chunkier, a chunkier outsole that really separates it apart from a lot of the other sort of plain leather sneakers for the spring and summer. And the tongue is really cool too. It has a tongue that really reminds me of the Adidas Gazelle, um, that soccer, football sort of inspired tongue with that aerodynamic aesthetic going on. We also got some Adidas branding in gold as well. And then we have like an exposed foam kind of sort of tongue here on the inside. I know not everyone's gonna mess with these. This is a shoe that is not as easy to pull off as like a Stan Smith or a Continental 80. So you're gonna have to have like a, a certain kind of drip to pull these off, but with the right clothing, you know, with the right fit, these are really, really clean. And again, the name for this shoe is the Super Courts RX. I haven't seen these online at all. The very first time I saw these was in person. 
person when I unbox them for the first time. And I'll leave links to these sneakers and the other ones I show you guys in the description down below if you guys want to cop. Again, this is a brand new release. I'm not sure if they've released other colorways yet. Anyways, review for the Super Court RX very, very soon. And we'll get to the on feet right now and then we'll get to the heat, the absolute best sneaker pickups for this video. So while I was in the Philippines, a couple of sneakers were released which I just basically never had the chance to buy because buying sneakers in the Philippines is way harder than buying them in Canada or America. So I took an instant L on uh, one of these shoes I'm about to show you and the other one was basically out of my price range. Let me show you guys the first sneaker out of these next three heat pickups. Adidas sent over these 40 shoes right here. These are the ZX 4000. 4D. Now, 4D sneakers by Adidas are typically very, very expensive, and that's just because they're not heavily mass produced, and the uh, the technology behind them is relatively new, so they can't, you know, create them like crazy, like boost. So here we have it, the Adidas ZX 4000 4D. I think one of the most expensive 4D sneakers that Adidas has released. I believe retail price was like 450 Canadian or or 400 Canadian dollars, but that price point is isn't just, you know, it's not budget friendly for a lot of people. So I'm expecting to uh, to have some fun wearing these because when you wear these kind of shoes, you'll have a lot of people asking questions like, yo, what's what's going on with your shoes? Like, is that 3D printed, 4D printed? Like that midsole is very, very unique and it's not something a lot of people are accustomed to seeing if you're just walking out and about. I gotta say, I like the Alpha Edge 4D a bit more, that minimal prime knit upper with that very distinguishable green 4D midsole. This shoe has a lot going on with it, like a ton of stuff going on. And my buddy Carlo actually did a real versus fake for this shoe, so if you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave his channel linked down below. But um, yeah. These shoes, these are cool. These are funky. I don't know how much I'm gonna get to wear this, but you guys can expect a review very, very soon. I don't wanna get into too much details for these 4D sneakers right here, but this is just my first impression of the shoe. And these are really nice. These are really, really nice. With that said, let me throw these on feet, and then we'll get over to the two pairs of Yeezys that Adidas sent over. So these Yeezys right here, I took a fat L on when they released in Canada while I was in the Philippines. This sneaker actually did not release in the Philippines at all. Zero retailers got these. And they did like a shock drop online for them. And they even released on Yeezy Supply, but I just took an L. It was just another, another L. But thankfully, the homies, the friends over at Adidas, they sent over the glow in the dark Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. And oh my gosh, these are so nice. These these are ridiculously nice. I got to give a huge thank you to Adidas for sending these over to me. I was not expecting these at all. So when I saw them in that big box with the other shoes, I was freaking out. I was like, yo, what? Well, I already accepted my L. I'm not trying to pay resale for these because you guys know resale for these ones are, are pretty high up there. And uh, yeah, I'm just like, wow, this is gonna be such a such a fun sneaker to wear. So thank you Adidas so much. I really appreciate it. And I've seen photos of people wear these for like five to 10 minutes outdoors and they go in their car or they just go somewhere dark and the glow on these is insane. A lot of people think my Yeezys are fake even when they come from Adidas. So feel free to legit check these. Um, the tongue, that, or not the tongue, the back tab right here surprisingly is really straight like it goes like almost straight up so I feel like like if someone were the someone were to show me this I'd be like yo that's questionable but this came straight from the plug Adidas so thank you and uh, here's a look at the tag as well the tag for these bad boys but yeah, I'm not concerned about legitimacy at all. I'm just concerned with uh, how much I'm going to wear these and hopefully I don't get these too dirty over the summer because this will be a very fun shoe, a very fun, bold and loud summer shoe to wear. Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Glow in the Darks. Review of these coming out very, very soon. I know these released, I think, a couple of weeks ago, but you know, I wasn't even able to open the package till I got back home from my Asia trip. Again, check out the Asia vlogs, all of them starting at season five. Um, they're all really high production, high quality, so hopefully 
you guys enjoy those. But yeah, with that said, let me throw on these Yeezys and then we'll get out to the other Yeezys that Adidas sent over. So, this is how it goes when you go through life roads and accomplish all your goals. You can't win without failure. Hmm, ain't that the truth? Losing my mind just to get a bit of juice. Open mics. Now, the final sneaker for this haul might be the best sneaker out of all of these. Another pair of Yeezys and Adidas came through. Adidas came through on these. This was another fat L for me, but oh my gosh. Thank you, Adidas, for sending these over. These are the brand new Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2s in that triple black colorway. These are being called like the Black Statics or the Pirate Black, Pirate Black, yeah, Pirate Black, Pirate Black Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. We got that little little thing on the back. These honestly might be one of the uh, the best sneaker releases of this year. I know we're only halfway into the year, but honestly, the hype on these was really high. Like surprisingly, both the Glow in the Dark Yeezys and these. It really does feel like Adidas has brought back the hype for the Yeezy Boost line in 2019. I know it was starting to fade away when they were releasing the Statics and the other colorways that restocked at the same time, but you can't even find these for retail anywhere. These are sold out, these are reselling for well over double retail, and uh, I'm just super blessed and super happy that Adidas sent these over. I will be wearing these a ton. This is such a wearable colorway and might be honestly one of the best sneakers of the summer as well. Just because it's a shoe that's gonna be able to go with every single outfit. It's got the full length boost inside, so it's gonna be super comfortable. And it has just, you know, the right amount of flex. It's not flexing too much, because it's not like a bold, loud, uh, you know, glow in the dark easy like I just showed you guys. But it's just like a subtle flex. You know, if you know, you know. It's that kind of shoe. So these are the two Yeezy pickups for today's haul. Let me know in the top right hand corner which Yeezy you guys like most with the pole up top. Do you guys like the glow in the darks? Or do you guys prefer the, uh, the triple black or the pirate blacks. It's really hard for me because like this shoe is a bold, like this shoe is like perfect for summer and this shoe is like perfect for every occasion. They're just both such really good releases and I'm looking forward to reviewing these on the channel. And uh, take a look at the back. Remember how I showed you guys the back on the glow in the dark? This one actually has like a, a real curve to it while the, the glow in the dark almost goes like straight up. With that said, both legit and both from Adidas. So thank you Adidas Canada for the love and sending these over. Now these weren't all the sneakers I picked up for this massive haul. I actually have seven more to show you guys, but I'll save those for the other video on Sneaker Talk 365. So part two of this haul, link down below, pin comment, check it out, click it, continue watching this unboxing. And uh, yeah, with that said, if you guys wanna enter the Bape sneaker giveaway for the Bape studs, they're on screen right now. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and comment down below your favorite sneaker pickup from this haul. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys follow my Instagram at Sneaker Talk CA for some more sneaker giveaways and some pretty dope outfit and sneaker content. Before I perform, need my money in advance. They said I'd be nothing. Ain't that shit?